So in the previous video, we investigated geometrically what it means to multiply two complex numbers together. Okay, so let's say we've got two complex numbers, Z1 and Z2. So Z1, I'm going to say, has the modulus R1, and the argument of Z1 will be theta1. The modulus of Z2 will be R2, and the argument of Z2 will be theta2. Okay, so let's just start off with those. Now... If I draw an Argan diagram, and on the Argan diagram, I draw Z1. So let's say here is Z1. Okay. Then it's got its length R1, and it's got its argument theta1. Okay. Now if I draw Z1 times Z2... Okay, so this is Z1 times Z2. Then we found that the length of Z1, Z2 would be the R1 times R2, the lengths of the two vectors multiplied, or the lengths of two complex numbers multiplied together. So this would be R1 times R2. And this angle here, okay, will be theta2 so that the argument of z1, z2 is theta1 plus theta2, or the argument of, th of z1 plus the argument of z2. Okay, so to be clear, the length, the modulus of z1, z2 is the same as multiplying the two modulus together, so r1 times r2, so let's write that as z1 times Z2 in modulus, so R1, R2. And the argument of Z1, Z2 is equal to the argument of Z1 plus the argument of Z2, which is theta1 plus theta2 in this case. Now, uh, these uh, rotate round anti-clockwise, okay? So as you multiply. Um, and you also need to consider um, that the argument that you get here, theta 1 plus theta 2, depending on which ones you get, okay, you want to make sure that your answer is what's referred to as the principal argument, which is between the minus pi and pi. So remember that the argument... is greater than minus pi, but less than or equal to pi, okay? So if you get an answer that's out of that, you may have to add or subtract 2 pi, depending on uh, where you're at, okay? But otherwise, that is what we can consider. And um, I'll go through a proof of this in the next video.